day welcome to Mortinet design in this survey 2023 we want to discuss how to create templates for a project so this we give you a lift up in understanding on how to customize your own personal project and the best way to do it there are so many ways to do it but the best way which i know is that you should choose a file that already have all those templates complete so from there you'll be able to do your home personal and customize to your taste so if you are not being a member of our channel before kindly subscribe today so that you get the notification and as well if you are the type that always be on our channel appreciate kindly help us to share and like so what we do is that you click on let us use this particular youtube so I like to load, let everything come in place for it. Good. So this is a project browser uh, interface. In this particular place, if you are okay with the foundation, the setting like foundation level and level, if you are the type that used to do a right building, you can create more level. So that if it's iris you want to customize it for iris templates continue like that so on the project browser you look at everything if it's okay by you fine if it's not okay you can delete some of those things you want like this one i don't like them i want to delete it yeah. so i delete this one the same thing i delete this so that's for that that's no shit anymore no legend anymore like this 3d i want to delete it i don't need it you can delete it so let it be nearly 3D home. And if you don't want that as well, you can decide to delete it as well. So there's nothing there's nothing you cannot delete in this place. So that is it for this aspect. So now I want to delete all these uh, components. This property, I don't need anyone. So how will I do that? If I delete from here, it may affect from another view. So the best way to delete first is that you go to 3D, create a new 3D, and you select anything you don't want again. So you choose all this and say delete. You do the same thing here and say delete. So there is no part of this project you go again that you are going to see all those uh, properties. They are no more. They've already gone and they've gone. So you cross check everything like in foundation. Did you just see have any unwanted line like this? So there is still one on this plan. So you delete them. You don't want all this line again. Everything is now plain and clear. Everything is plain and clear. Everything is plain and clear. So as we have done this one, that everything is okay by you. Go to 3D again to verify. Do not delete all this one. These are the model line. It's a little new introduction in 2023. So leave all this one in, its, in their own way. The more you create level, the more you are going to be seeing this one. So this one assists you when you are on a 3D. So what you just need to do is that you go to your level one and you say click on file and you click on save as. So instead of you saving as you save as templates not project this time around you save as template so this one we say save as save the current traffic project as a what as template so you click on that so you look for where you want to save this template into you can imagine the its own format is different from every format let me tell you what i mean so when you click on this if you want to save a, as a project look at it the project is going to tell you that the name is that its name is YouTube to YouTube to bedroom dot RFT RFT that is it file type that is for the project but if you are saving for templates it's going to tell you a different file name which is what RTE RTE is a file template for what it's file format for templates in Revit so you can save it anywhere irrespective of wherever you want to do so you can decide to save it in a in a desktop 
then you create a new folder for that and call it template folder now this template folder so you click inside there and you call this one what is the name you want any name you like just let me use templates good so i use templates here and i save it so automatically it will be saved as templates good this is templates file everything has been saved in templates if you want to use it again now it's not going to accept well, except you want to save it as template it's going to be safe as a project so everything you have created here are available everything you you thought you have deleted like here like everything that is why it's there so you go to customize i mean component and you are going to see all those things available in this template even when you close the project it's still going to be there Kanzu. Kanzu. so now as this one is in place so what you need to do now is that you bring this into construction construction of what you want to create with now okay don't let me talk a lot of grammar you can decide to check what you have created in your desktop and you style it templates t so this is the template you have created so you can imagine it has been created for you you can look at it as a big template which is okay you leave it that way so you don't bother yourself if the template is going to be there and there is no problem with that so how do you now put it and every time you want to open the project you are going to get it like let's say we want to create a new project now say why create a new project it's the same thing when you open a new project there is not no difference so here we come to this place are you seeing it you cannot see it the reason is that it's not there as a part of it but you can browse it and look for where it's been saved so you go to your uh, tem uh, tem uh, desktop look for template by searching for t and you click here and you say okay you want it to be open so it will be open for you that's the template output that has brought out for you so you say okay this one is telling you you're unable to accept because the operation cannot be complete because the model template is currently available. So close that. You no, know, the best thing to do is close the project. Is he asking you to change it to project? Say no, I don't want. So I want to open it anew by opening a new project. So I'm opening it from here. So I'm opening another project entirely. Take your time to watch it so that you understand what I'm trying to tell you. So the new project has been the new file open. We want to start another review com completely to exercise that project. How to customize it for yourself? So be patient with it. Watch it as it load. Do not be in a rush. So as this one is gathering itself, yes, it's already been in place. So when you say new project. New project again that we have not seen, we are not seeing it yet. But the best you know is look for it to search. Click on browse. In your browsing that you have clicked, go to desktop. In your desktop, search for the template. This is the template, and you click on this and you say open. Say okay. So let it load. Allow it to perform a duty and function so the template has been open everything is in place all the components that you have there they are here already so that is the that is that part of what you have done now what we want to do now is that i want to bring it to that whenever you open it from the close this down no so any anytime you click on this new anytime you browse you want to be seeing it the way you are seeing this smoothness of a thing so how do you do that this is how you do that so go to this level and click on file on your file click on options at the option this is where you get those things done so you click on file locations at the file location now there are so many options all this one are the predefined one that you are seeing on the face like my own which is the mostness so the next thing to do is that you click on this add follow 
in the add value now the template has been opening so if you are not seeing it just come to your test text uh, desktop where you save your where you save maybe it's on desktop whatever you save it so so search for it and you say okay click on it and i'm using this template i'm opening it there so this template has been added now and that is it so leave all this one the way is the way they are leave all this one the way they are so you have nothing to do so if you are doing anything in cloud system or workflow with somebody or this one are much if you are doing a cloud work and so on and so forth this one are more relevant for for now leave it as it is. since you have brought the template you got it template so you click ok so as it is now it's already having the template in a place so now you click here and say new so search for it can you see the template is available and it has come to stay so if you click here from here now it has been customized so that is your own template anytime you open you don't need to be starting and be addressing by changing level or changing anything again this one has been as your own customized template in that aspect so that is how you create customized uh, templates in the in this regard so if you close the whole entire project and you click open another open a uh, revit again so just to demonstrate for you how it works so open the pre uh, project again allow it to load and let everything come in place by seeing it on the service it's a beautiful thing to know a lot of things in revit by putting your uh, your ideas in use so this one Whenever it loads, and you click on a new, are you getting it? It's not a, a open project. It's a new one. Whenever you click on new one, so you when you ever you click this arrow down, you are going to find the template, and it's not seeing the template. So that is how you create templates, customize your own personal template in Revit. So anytime you want to use it, it allow you. So the what is it called? The dimension and everything you have that idea for you that you have already brought in that place will be used and continue to be used successfully for you. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you have not.